This is the Finnish House of Estates, the building that hosts the negotiations to define Finland's next government. Despite Sanna Marin's Social Democratic Party gaining more seats this election, Petteri Orpo's National Coalition Party came out on top with the most seats this time round. As the spring's winner, the centre-right National Coalition Party gets the first chance to form a government, with Orpo likely to replace Marin as Prime Minister. However, in order for him to do that, his party needs to successfully form a coalition, which is always a delicate balancing act. Let's lay out how that negotiation process works. Preparations to form a majority coalition of at least 101 seats, or ideally 110 or more, begin even before the elections take place, sometimes during public election debates. It is only after the winner is clear, however, that the search for the new coalition partners can really commence. The winning party first appoints a hallitustunnustelija, the person to lead the early stage of the negotiations, usually the party leader themselves. This discussion leader gives out a list of questions to all parliamentary groups to find the optimal candidates to invite to open talks on forming a government. The number of questions has previously varied from as few as seven to as many as 29. In the past few negotiations, that list has been getting longer and longer, as parties are vetting possible partners more and more thoroughly. As soon as the answers are collected and assessed, the actual negotiations can begin. These talks are not formally regulated and can vary in terms of how long they last, how they are organized, who gets to participate and the extent to which their progress is discussed in public. This is also the time when lobbyists advocate for their niche interests to be incorporated into the government program. Negotiations could drag on for months following the April election, but there is an informal deadline to form a coalition by midsummer in June. Once successful, the negotiations bring about a new government, meaning the prime minister nominee, the total number of ministers, the division of responsibilities and the allocation of cabinet portfolios. The potential coalition partners also need to agree on a government program, which operates as a rulebook for the government to be for the next four years. If supported by more than half of the parliament, the nominated head of government and ministers will be appointed by the president at a special session. That same session also sees the departure of the outgoing government. This time, Sanna Marin's women-led centre-left coalition will likely be replaced by a more right-wing group led by the National Coalition Party. And so, the work of the new government begins. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our weekly podcast, All Points North, wherever you listen to podcasts.